federal government has admitted paying as much as 120 billion naira to subsidize the price of petrol monthly. The group managing director of the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, NNPC, Mele Kiari, said this at the fifth edition of the special ministerial briefings coordinated by the presidential communications team. He said sooner or later, Nigerians would have to pay the actual cost of the commodity. We're importing at market price and we're selling at 162 naira per liter today. Uh, looking at the current market situation, the actual price could have been anywhere between 211 that you have mentioned and around 234 naira to the liter. Uh, the meaning of this is that consumers are not paying for the full value of uh, the PMS that we are consuming and therefore somebody is bearing that cost. As we speak today, the difference is being carried in the books of NNPC, and I can confirm to you that uh, NNPC is, may no longer be in position to carry that burden, uh, because we cannot continue to carry it on our books. Uh, that is why uh, early last year, if you recall, uh, the full deregulation of the PMS market was announced, and we have followed this through until we got to September, when prices shifted above 145. Uh, some social issues came up, with, particularly with trade unions and other um, civil societies, uh, leading to an engagement between us and organized level, uh, which prevented the eventual uh, implementation of the actual market price of the petroleum product at that time. Those engagements are continuing, and the objective of those, of judgment, uh, those engagements is actually not to prevent the regulation, but to make sure that there is sufficient framework on ground to ensure that consumers pay for the actual price of this product and that they are not exploited. Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Timmy Pierre Silva, while speaking, insisted that the rehabilitation and turnaround maintenance of the Port Harcourt refinery is the way to go. He said the country is getting it right this time around and assured that the refinery at the end of the rehabilitation will be up and running. I don't know whether every time your refinery develops a fault, you must change it. Of course, we have always talked about the maintenance culture in Nigeria. We must maintain what we have. Unfortunately, there have been some challenges in the maintenance of the refineries. But right now, we've gotten it right. And our refineries are not a cake. The refinery in Port Harcourt is in two parts. One, the smaller one, was built in the 1960s, which is not even a very old refinery. Then, the bigger refinery, 150,000 barrels, was built in 19, was built by the president when he was president and commissioned in 1989. So, a 1989 refinery cannot by any stretch of imagination, be considered an archaic refinery. It's just that we've had some management challenges, and this government wants to make sure that we put it right and make sure we get our refineries functional. There are refineries that are 105 years old that are in the news today, still functioning. So how can you say that this refinery is old. It's not one of the oldest refineries at all, but we want to upgrade it because, you see, in every technology, you know, just like your, your phones, you have upgrades, alerts for upgrades, and, you, and then you upgrade your, your phones. That doesn't mean that it's, 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 your phone was obsolete. 